Hi everyone, I'm Hu Pildenbrand. Thanks for tuning into my channel, Hu Pildenbrand Guitar Academia. Today we have lesson 7 of the Turkish classical music and we will introduce you to the tetra and pentachords of the Turkish makam. So, let's get right in into the endless ocean of music. <music> Let's get on with our journey here into the Turkish classical music, Sanat music, Turk Sanat music. And today we will um, we will we will go into the first tetra and pentachord of the of the um, classical Turkish uh, system, which is also it's it's equivalent to to saying uh, makam. Um, music. Makam is actually kind of a scale with a lot of uh, additional rules uh, and, and concepts to follow. But basically in the first, in the first level Makam is a sort of a scale. Frequently just very comparable to the Western system like a major scale, minor scale or a Phrygian scale for example. Um, but even more basic, it is even these scales are built out of tetra and pentachords. And this kind of plateau sinking of tetra and pentachords, you can say this uh, makam music is, is structured into plateaus of tetra and pentachords and you follow a, a certain kind of an order um, of these tetra and pentachords so you go from from one tetrachord on one note to another tetrachord on, a, on another note or another pentachord and so on and you do not really sing too much uh, scales all the time it's it's mainly really you have these these tetra and pentachords that's that's the, the the most important I would say the most important building block of the whole makam music and this these building blocks you really have to you really have to understand we have like 14 14 different tetra and pentachords um, these makams are, are built of so that's that is a restricted uh, number you can say and all these more than 500 makams are built out of these uh, 14 tetra and pentachords. So 14 tetra and pentachords is our um, basis for the whole um, Turkish classical music. And today we will, I will introduce you to the to the first six tetra and pentachords, and these. These six Turkish, uh, these, these six pentachords, they are, they are later forming the basic makams, you can say. We we di divide the whole, the whole, um, um, all these makams. We we divide actually in in three categories, and we have the first category of thirteen basic makams. 13 basic makams, they are also, also called bashit, basic or ana, mother makams, bashit, bashit, bashit makams and ana makams. And we have shet makams, this is the second category, this, this is when we transpose the makam and um, bring, bring it um, give it also like own character characteristics so it's not just the transposition of a makam but it's uh, it also has some some different uh, features than the original um, makam and then of course we have the bileshik uh, makam lar and these these bileshik they are, you, you can um, translate this with composite makams so they are actually composed of at least two different um, makams. So they are um, they are also more complex. These are more complex 
becomes. And you, for, for these, actually, you, you also need more tetra and pentachords. But remember, not more than 14, but more than six. These six, which we will discuss today. All right. So I hope you, you, you watched all these lessons and please download uh, this PDF file. And there's also going uh, uh, audio files with it. So you have a zip file for this lesson to, to download. Please follow the link down in the description. And you will later on, you will see what, what all this material is about. But there is a PDF um, also, and we will uh, refer to the PDF now. Okay, you see, at the, the top of the page, you have charga. Yeah, this charga for five. And four, five, four means, means uh, tetrachord, and five means pentachord. And in uh, Turkish, uh, Turkish vocabulary, uh, a tetrachord is called a dörtlü, dörtlü. And a pentachord is um, uh, called beşli. So like, so you have a charga beşli and a charga dörtlü. And the only difference actually between these, these two is, is one note uh, extra. So in, 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 in the first, you just go up to the F and in the second, in the um, beşli, in the uh, fifth uh, pentachord, you go up to the G. And charga is uh, absolutely very connected, almost the same than our major major penta or tetra chord. Um, so we have the um, we have actually like like um, oh oh one one more thing sorry on this page there's all is transposed to E. So when I just said uh, it goes to F or it goes to G, that's that's uh, that's my fault. Um, originally charga is built on C. But this course is very special because this course is, is really, um, really designed for, for us uh, guitarists to, to deal with this Turkish classical music and the microtones. So I, I found out a, a concept where uh, we first really transpose all the stuff to, to E. So we also have our, always our E string as a root. And Remember there when we talked about the, the Turkish classical music system, the 53 equal temperament, we, we said that only one note actually is out of these uh, 53 is actually identical with a, a Western system. So I took not the C but the E as this note. So everything, everything we can com compare now um, by going from, from E as a root. And we have a, so this, this node is actually the root and this node is, um, when it's transposed, the, the only exact right node we can play also now here on, on the guitar. Okay, so just remember, we, 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 all, we play all these tetra and penta chords from E to easily compare them and also you um, you have in lesson four you you have these, these these tuning tones and they are also made all starting from from e so the whole 53 notes starting starting from e so we can really um we can really yeah co compare all this um, stuff so if we start from e and we play charga it's actually quite quite a quite the same as the E major scale. So the, the, the tetra chord would be E, F sharp, G sharp, A, and the penta chord would be E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B. If we take it very, very serious and very, um, how do you say, um, very exact, we look into the details, we see that None of the other tones than, than E is really really exactly what, what we have on the guitar. So for example, we have the, the F sharp is actually just a bit higher, just four cent higher, you can say. So you can do this, you can do it also on the guitar just by bending or pressing or by pushing it in the direction of the 
nut, you can make it a little bit higher. And you can use your tuning tones. For example, if I um, go here to my tuning tones, uh, somewhere else here, let's check it. So we go to to nine. Huh? We have a go further. Sorry, nine. So nine, we, which is also the interval of a T. What we what we said, Tanini, and um, that's that note. So if we tuned really exact. This maybe would not be exactly this note because this is four cent higher. So so we can we can uh, compare it with these tones, and that's the whole whole fun of these these tuning tones that we really can have a we can strive for really a perfect intonation. And the next note, the G sharp. You see also this accidental, it's also a bit higher. Um, it's a higher G sharp than, than we have in the Western system. It's actually uh, the interval from, from C to F, from this E to this G sharp covers two whole steps of the Turkish system, two T's you can say. So nine plus nine commas, 18 commas. And this is a higher note. I, I'm not really such a big fan of this note, and also charga is not really a very common, common, uh, you can say, like a common makam in a way, like, 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 and even if you if you say you play charga, you play actually a bit something, something a bit bit different. Actually, you 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 very quickly go into 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 uh, different tetra and pentachords. Um, but it's good to have this, this scale uh, to, to compare it with our system. So E, this F sharp, G sharp, which is also a bit higher. Actually, it adds to um, plus eight, plus eight um, cent. And we can also compare it with a, well, let's do it. We do it for Charga more. Um, Take some time to that you really understand how we how we work in this. So we have a bit higher. Bit higher G sharp. Later on we also can ignore this this bit of a difference. And you, you hear it for yourself also when you compare it with the tuning tones that it's not very much. It's just very little. And very little. It's also it's also with our A, the fourth, the um, um, comma twenty two. Um, so we have T T B, and we we have nine commas to F sharp, nine commas to G sharp, and then four commas to A. That that adds up to our perfect fourth, um, the A. And the A is just two two uh, cent lower actually in this Turkish music and also in the harmonic series of course it's a bit lower so we can maybe if we want we can we can listen and we can just try to to match it more with the E together because if the A is a bit lower just a tiny very little bit it also um, melts more with the E so we, we we will develop our ear that we we can hear these, these small differences that, that that we we can actually we don't for for this actually we don't need our tuning tones for the perfect intervals okay um, this was a um, charga tetra chord so we do so a little bit of bend more bend and push the direction of the uh, bridge instead of Turkish 
it's just a very little bit of a difference. But we, we, we want to be very uh, precise when we starting doing this. And then for the um, Charga pentachord, we also add the B. And the B is also a harmonic series, Turkish system, a bit higher than our B. So just two cents higher. And we talked a lot about the B, the perfect fifth building block of the whole uh, tonal system of Turkish music. Tetra pentachord here is a busilic. Busilic is, you can say it's very uh, connected to charga, but has a minor third. And this um, minor third is just a bit lower than our third. So instead of. I do not really expect expect from you that you really really hear it and, and, and really understand it by now. It's just um, I would suggest that you just take your tuning tones and you try to, to match these tones exactly with all these six different tetra and pentachords. And then you you already step further and I'm 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 sure the things will really clear up. So, Busilik is also like Charga, built out of just these two intervals, T and B. So, nine commas and four commas. We have T, B, T, T. T, B, T for the tetrachord, T, B, T, T for the pentachord. The third is Kurdi, which, which and by the way, Busilik just equals to our minor tetra or pentachord. And the next Kurdi is equals our Phrygian tetra and pentachord. Phrygian is E, F, G, A, B. So it, it, it's, it, it, it really matches these notes with just little discrepancies, like we have a, a little bit of, um, of adjustments we can do. We can, we can try to, to make the the F a little bit lower because it is a little bit lower, it's like 90 cent instead of 100 cent for E to F. And it sounds also very nice. Instead of So these two perfect intervals, fourth and fifth, they mainly, actually with all these six uh, tetra and pentachords, these two notes, they are always the same. Also, of course, the root, so the E, the A, the B, the A with the tetra, tetra chords and the A and the B with the pentachords, they are always the same. And they are the most closest, closest uh, notes out of the Turkish system, which we can play in our 12 tone equal temperament. All right, um, now it's getting a bit uh, more interesting, you can say, a bit more, more deep and a bit more work for us to do, actually. Because now we come to, to rust, and rust um, is, is made of T, K, S. 
tetrachord and TKST pentachord. And this KS already suggests or makes, uh, uh, says we have to work. These intervals we always have to work. And so actually there's just one note difference from Charga. Rust and Charga are very similar, very similar um, scale or tetra and pentachord, but the third of rust is a bit lower. And in the, in the strict form, it's just a very bit, very little bit lower. So it's uh, 15, 15 cent lower, and that's, that's not very much. This actually we can already play um, with, with uh, pushing the string towards the, the bridge, um, if we play the whole thing on the A string. So E, F sharp, a bit higher, and then okay this is 18 oh no 17 sorry this is uh, 17 comma oh it's a bit lower actually you hear this instead of But we should learn to play this note actually here. And I will tell you why a bit later. First, Practice your rust, tetra and pentachord really by bending this G here on the D string. E, F sharp. Okay, next we have Ushak and Husseini. Ushak and Husseini are actually quite the same. They are written the same, but Ushak is always only the Tetrachord, Dirtly, and Husseini is always only the Beshli, the Pentachord. And when you, when, you, when you actually see them written, it's, they are very connected to Busselic, of course. It's just the second note is lower. So we start with K, then have an S, and then a T, and maybe another T if we want to have this uh, Husseini Pentachord. So instead of this F sharp, we go to instead of so just a little bit lower, one comma comma lower, you can say. Practical use, Ushak, the second, the F sharp of Ushak is lower, is played lower than the F sharp of Husseini. I can't really tell you why it is like this. I think it has to do, of course, with the fifth. If you have the fifth, maybe you also tend to have the F sharp higher to match more with this fifth. And to have it lower, um, the F sharp to match more with the A. But we will come to these details later. I will I will make a, a video for maybe all all different um, makams, at least the, the basic uh, makams, basit uh, makams, and um, to to go really into detail of it, how to play it, what what kind of. Uh, what kind of melodies and motifs um, they are used, and so on. We will discuss this more. Um, by now, let's um, let's just say, okay, Ushak is lower, lower um, second, and Husseini is a higher second. And um, we will just just in a few minutes, we will um, I will explain this more uh, deep. Um, because there are variations. And we talked last lesson, we also we talked about this already. 
But let's um, add another, the last tetra and pentachord for today, the sixth, is hujas. Hujas is very much connected to the uh, to what we have in uh, Western music is like the, the fifth mode of harmonic minor. So fifth mode of harmonic minor. If we if we are on E, then we we actually we think A harmonic minor A B C D E F G sharp A. But we don't start from A. We start from the fifth fifth mode from E. So it's E F. G sharp A for the tetrachord and E, F, G sharp, A, B for the pentachord. So in our Western system it sounds like this. Okay. Um, sometimes this is like, like a cliché uh, for... for um, for like Turkish um, or Oriental music, this this augmented uh, augmented second from F to G sharp. Yeah, you you hear this. Uh, it's a, a cliche actually. It's like. classical music, um, but very typical for Oriental Turkish music also, hujas. But in Turkish classical music, hujas is, has a, a slight, a bit different intonation, which actually makes it more, more, um, you can say, warm or emotional or deep, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a different, it's a different sound, which really is, gets lost, um, is lost when when you when you when you just play it with a with a twelve tone equal temperament system. So what we do actually, we we put the the minor second a bit higher. Remember, the F, the minor second four comma is already a bit lower than our usual F. Or I mean our when I say our I'm always mean Western. I mean. I don't know from, from where you're watching this video. Maybe you're, you're actually a, a Turkish musician or you learn Turkish music and you also watch these videos. So don't be confused. If I say our, I mean uh, the Western perspective. That's where I'm looking from to the Turkish music, you can say. So um, at the Western, Western, uh, Western system, the, the F is a bit higher than the F in the Turkish uh, um Turkish classical music system. So the F in the Turkish classical music system is a bit lower than yeah, Turkish and Western. It's quite a difference actually. It's quite interesting how this small uh, this is few cents make 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 a, what they what what different they make it, they make okay um, but the F in hijas is has this it's one comma diesis one comma sharp and this is a bit higher than our F Western F so instead of Theoretically, when we have the, the G sharp, the major third, we have the same major third as Rust, so 17 comma, which is a bit lower than our Western G sharp. So we have...
So here, this is a this is a little difference, but makes a makes a huge. I think it makes a huge different um, atmosphere. It brings a different room, different world, different culture actually already in these small scent deviations. All right, so now we, we come to the, um, the, the practical forms of Rust, Ushak and Hijaz because they all also have variations. And when I, when I had lessons from Nuri Karadumili, this uh, Ut master, my teacher at the Turkish Conservatory here in um, Berlin, he always told me, don't take these, these K, C, uh, K and S intervals too serious. Don't take them serious. So actually, like like every every musician, every professional musician, um, Turkish musician, they 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 have they have a bit their own their own intonation, you can say, with these with these tones, and um, also it's it, it differs it differs from from composition to composition or from, from the context to, to the next context. It, it differs uh, what you, how you, you, um, how you, where you exactly intonate these, these, uh, these tones. And um, now, basically, you have, you have, um, you can say you have um, variations of these uh, tetra and pentachords, which come, come, which are really coming very close also to just playing a different um, comma there. So I, I, wrote, I wrote down for you, they're also on this page, I wrote down some, some where it's written like in actual use, I wrote down some, some um, these, these uh, variations of Rust, Ushak or Hiseni and Hijaz, um, where which, which is coming very, very near or almost exactly to these, uh, to these, uh, um, to the ways the, the intonation works in, in, um, in practical use. Like these are variations. I mean, still um, like what, what we just talked about, these, these, these little changes um, of, of um, in, in Rust, Ushak and, and, and Hijas, these just very little um, variations in comparison to the Western system, they are they are really played in actual actual use also. I mean, in the, the compositions, but there are also other other variations of it. And and for example, with with Rust, we have two 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 um, variations. We we can play the the third, not as a seventeenth um, comma, the G sharp, but also as a sixteenth, so one comma lower. Or even at fifteenth, fifteenth, the um, two commas, two commas lower. So the the, the theoretical, uh, theoretically um, correct um, form of, of rust is um, the third with seventeenth comma. <laughs> Sixteenth comma, or even fifteen commas. have two variations we have a uh, um, the Ushak eight comma 
sharp and when we go down we use the sevens or even six comma so we lower this F sharp even more we also have um, another version of it and this version makes the hujas even more uh, mysterious you can say more or more warm more emotional maybe in comparison to the western system where it's very cold very intellectual you can you can say the sound I think so this this uh, this other version and in variation in, in practical use is making the the F like two com commas higher. Actually, we, we still use the same symbol, the same F sharp, this uh, one line with the two diagonal uh, lines. But as I said, in practical use, we don't take this S interval at the beginning too serious. So instead of just just a little higher F, we make it and we always can tune here with our tuning tone. So we have number six. The, the, the G sharp instead of instead of um, 17 we go to 16 so 16 comma and pentachords and you, you um, had a chance to, to listen to them. Now with these tuning tones from lesson from lesson four um, and also with these wave files which we have in our uh, download of today. Um, remember in the description you just follow, follow the download for the PDF and in this zip file there's the PDF and um, there are some um, wave 
files, some audio files, um, which which just play for you these uh, um, these these six tetra and penta chords, but we don't um, we don't have the whole tetra and penta chord because the, the the fourth and the fifth note they are all always the same and they are very close to to our western system so we just take the first three notes we play them up and down so play these these uh, these uh, files um, these audio files in in a loop and just go all the way all the time up and down, up and down, up and down, together with the recording and try to match every note correct. And there are also these, these uh, variations of Rust, Ushak and, and uh, Hujas. So you can really, you can really go into, into the, 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 the practical translation of the whole theory to your guitar, to the fretboard. Um, Yes, so this is a, a cool device, I think. Um, and also, when we when we go later into this um, into the, the Makam world, you can say um, there's also a, um, the idea of just showing the first three notes of a of a tetra or pentachord. So you don't have to show always the whole the whole. You, have, you don't have to play the whole tetra or pentachord. Just the first three notes. They already give you the, the taste, you can say, like Cheshni, it's called in Turkish uh, music, the, the um, character, the, 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 the spice, uh, the, the, the taste of, of the tetra and pentachord, of Charga, of uh, Busalik, of Kurdi. So just the first three notes. And so practice these, um, these all these tetra, I mean, these, these, these Cheshni and also the um, tetra and pentachords and also um, let let um, let yourself help with this uh, tuning tones and the uh, basic three chords you can say. Okay, so this was it for today. Later on, we will go much more into detail with all these tetra and pentachords or macams. But for now, that's it. If you like these lessons, um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also there's a possibility to support me by going to the website guitar-academia.com. There you find a button where you can donate. So thanks for watching. My name is Hupe Hildenbrand.